Hello, I'm Ken Collins. Welcome to my video on swapping a 5 liter engine into a Fox bodied Ford. Drop them all in. It's always a good idea to take a look at the lifter and it should be pumped up. The, uh, the little cup that um, holds the push rod should be all the way up to that little snap ring. If it's not all the way tight against that snap ring, you may not be able to get a true reading on your valve lash. Looks like these are, these are fine. Okay, I've turned the crankshaft so it's on compression stroke number one cylinder, so both of the lifters are down on the base circle. I said earlier in the video that I got some uh, push rods that are uh, 50 thousandths of an inch longer than the stock ones, and that seemed to give me the lash that I needed, so we'll verify that. Drop the push rod down in there, take my uh, roller rocker and install it and I think I said earlier that if I use no shims I had about one full turn of preload that's a little bit more than what I want ideally I'd like between a quarter and a half turn so I'll put a 35 thousandth shim under there and we'll see what happens I'll go ahead and thread it down there and like before I'll check and and wait until I have all of the clearance out of the push rod. Obviously I can move it now. I can rotate it real easily. And eventually I'd stop right there. Turn, stop. Okay, I've taken the lash out of it. Now I'll torque it down. Take my torque wrench, put it at the 12 o'clock position and see how far I have to turn it to get 20 foot-pounds. All right, looks like it's right about there. So I have a little bit more than a half a turn. That should be okay. I might try a different shim and uh, see if I can get it between a quarter and a half, which I think is ideal but I believe that would be fine. And what I'd like to do is check that on every cylinder the same way. Now the easiest way to check each cylinder to get both of them down on the base lobe is to simply look, find what your firing order is, and this happens to be a high output uh, five liter, and the five liter high outputs and the 351 Windsor has the same firing order. Go down to the damper and make some marks. Okay, it's in the top dead center position now, and then I took a paint marker and simply marked at quarter turns. This would be a, a you know, quarter of a turn here, and then put a paint mark here and a paint mark here. I just simply eyeballed it. You can usually get it close enough. And then to get compression stroke on the next cylinder, which on this engine, it's number three. I just simply turn it until I get to that next paint mark right there. Now I'm on compression stroke number three cylinder. I can set the valve lash on that one, then turn it another quarter of a turn to the next paint mark right there, and that would be the next one in the firing order, which is number seven. Set the, the number seven you know, rockers in place, check the lash, and so on.